Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to make meatloaf. But not traditional meatloaf, because I actually hate meatloaf. I always have, ever since I was a kid. And something changed my mind on that. And that is my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law is Mexican, and when she came to this country, meatloaf was a new thing to her. And she didn't like it either. So she made her own recipe, her own version of meatloaf, and it was absolutely delicious. And in teaching me how to make that recipe, I realized what I didn't like about traditional meatloaf. And that is that it has so much extra sugar in it. Between the ketchup and the brown sugar, it's more of a sweet dish than it was of a savory dish. And I just didn't like that. But her recipe has a lot of flavor, a lot of extra spices and peppers. It is so delicious. And I'm not going to show you how to make that recipe today. I promise I will show you that in a later video. But today, I want to show you how to make my meatloaf. And it's more of an Italian style meatloaf. And that instead of ketchup and brown sugar, we're using marinara sauce and Parmesan cheese. And what I love about this meatloaf is that it's so versatile. You could have it with mashed potatoes and gravy, you could have it in sandwiches, or you can have it with pasta and red sauce. Let's get started. So to start, we are going to soak our breadcrumbs in milk. So this is one cup of milk to a half cup of breadcrumbs. We're gonna give it a nice stir. All right, and then we're gonna let this sit for about five minutes while we prepare the rest of the ingredients. Now for the vegetable portion of our meatloaf, I have a large carrot a large stalk of celery, a small onion, and about three cloves of garlic. So I have chopped these up very finely. Now if you can't get them this fine um, by hand, you could definitely put them into a food processor, pulse that a couple times, and that'll help get them nice and small and even. And we're gonna throw this into our pot here with a little bit of olive oil to give them a good sear. And that's really gonna bring out their flavors um, for our meatloaf. So we'll add just a little bit of olive oil Right now we're gonna add these in. So we just wanna let this simmer for a little while just to pull out the juices um, that is going to help keep our meatloaf very moist but it's also going to help us get a really nice flavor all right so once we get that just warm we don't need to brown it we don't need them to get very soft and um, we're going to go ahead and add our marinara sauce just to get that warmed up That was about a half cup of marinara. Okay. Just wanna warm that just to help the flavors melt together. Um, this will help keep our meatloaf very uh, moist. <laughs> now it's time for the fun part. We have our breadcrumbs ready. We've got our vegetables ready. Let's roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty. Let's put all of this together. So we have about two pounds of ground beef here and we're going to combine that with about a half cup of Parmesan cheese, three eggs. I have about a tablespoon of salt, about a two teaspoons of oregano and close to two teaspoons of 
dried parsley. You could use fresh parsley as well. Um, same with the oregano. And then of course we have our vegetables and we have our breadcrumbs with milk. So to start, we're going to add our Parmesan cheese to our ground beef. And then we're going to add our breadcrumbs. Our seasonings. Our vegetables. And our three eggs. Right, we're going to mix this all to combine. Just want to make sure you get it all combined very evenly. There's a lot of liquid in here, so I don't think we're going to have a problem with over mixing. We just want to make sure that we get it very well combined um, and all the ingredients distributed uh, evenly so that we have a really nice loaf. All right, once you have it thoroughly mixed together, now it's time to put it into a loaf pan. By now, you should know that I absolutely love cast iron. So of course, I'm using a cast iron loaf pan. If you have a glass one though, that works perfectly well. So when you're putting the meatloaf into your pan, you wanna put it in little bits at a time to make sure that you are filling in uh, any of the air pockets that might develop. Um, that way we're making sure that it cooks evenly. Our meatloaf is ready to go to the oven. Um, we're going to cook this at 375 degrees for about an hour, hour 20 minutes. Um, we will be monitoring the temperature as we get close to an hour. Um, we just want the center to read 155 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, that's how we know that it is cooked thoroughly. So I will see you here in another hour. We're back. The meatloaf is out of the oven. It smells incredible. It looks good. I'm excited and ready to dig into this. So I ended up cooking this for about an hour and 10 minutes until it reached that internal temperature of 155 degrees. So quick tip, I forgot to mention before, make sure that you put a baking sheet underneath your meatloaf while you're baking it because as you can see, <laughs> it spills over all those juices that are in there uh, while the meat is staying nice and moist the juices are they need somewhere to go so just make sure that you put a baking sheet underneath it um, that way you're saving yourself the hassle of having to scrub down your oven afterwards i've let this set for about 10 minutes um, that way it can rest and retain those juices so we're going to cut into it and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. So there you have it. There is our Italian style meatloaf. It smells incredible. I cannot wait to dig into this. I'll be serving this with some mashed potatoes and gravy, but like I said before, this goes great in sandwiches and also with pasta and red sauce. If you enjoyed this recipe, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more content like this.